All right, here's how things are looking. Sorry for the potentially shaky off tripod views here, but this is way too tight for the tripod. So there's the newish oven that will allow me to hang things better. And that is preheating. Here's my powder coat slash air setup and how I intend to hang things from that set of hooks. So I will test it on this piece, the stud, and then uh, probably video post initial powder coat and then once it's in the oven. So back in a bit. All right, I'd call that good coverage. And it's baking time. So I will call that a hanging success. We'll bake this for 20 minutes. And it'll take forever to cool down. So this is our test run. I will say that uh, that came out pretty cool, all things considered. Letting it cool down, it's well, slightly warm to the touch. It's been cooling for about 10 minutes. I think that came out exceptionally well, considering I'm a goober who's just uh, amateur doing this. And uh, we'll get a better inside view later on. Hey folks, Reloading Bench back with you again. So we are into the Saturday, started the day off with uh, cleaning, doing a little uh, wipe down of the metal, which is nice because it picks off all the miscellaneous dust that was part of the uh, bead blast process so if you remember right uh, bead blast this was the uh, outcome and i have to say that this came out even better uh, than expected uh, no uncoated surfaces everything you're seeing is just gloss in terms of potential uh, miscoating so uh, it came out great and uh, very very smooth consistent uh, finish so I'm a fan of doing things right as opposed to right now so I will do each one of the studs in fact I'm baking the second stud right now uh, probably mm, five minute process to prep prep the stud get it on the wire turn all the machinery back on uh, and then another maybe two minutes to coat again not in a hurry very light passes to get a thorough coating and uh, while I'm doing this the ovens preheating and then uh, once I'm done coating I move uh, I pull the rack that I have off to the side over to where I have the ladder and the stud hanging take a pair of pliers grip the uh, the wire that's holding the stud and then I place that on the oven rack and then I slide the oven rack into the oven and it's about a 20 minute bake time and uh, almost as long to cool because again this is almost an inch thick in terms of um, diameter a uh, big piece of metal that gets heated up to 400 degrees uh, and again I don't want to take any chances of uh, touching it with hand so everything's being done with gloves so that uh, sweaty gloves now uh, that I'm going to dry out so that I don't get uh, any oils from my hands uh, on the material to potentially uh, impact or uh, degrade any of the uh, powder coating surface. So uh, my thought is uh, I'm not even going to put these back together. Uh, I'll let the uh, owner do that because uh, I don't want to uh, scrape anything up. I'll let the owner be the one to, uh, to do that initial uh, screw in they all fit fine and uh, they will show up hopefully I hope all of them come out like this uh, obviously my bigger concern is how well these coat uh, a lot of curves a lot of uh, areas to potentially miss because uh, when something's hanging um, you know I'm, I'm hoping that uh, I do just as good on 
the uh, the rings as I did the stud. So uh, when I look at how the second stud came out in terms of coating, it looks uh, very, very um, covered, <laughs> I guess is the best term. But uh, today, off and on, we'll be, I'll probably do the three studs this morning. Uh, it gets windy in the afternoons, and I don't want to, uh, to do this uh, when it's windy out because uh, applying the uh, powder coat when it's windy is is futile um, so it's nice and calm in the mornings so maybe uh, Sunday morning will be uh, the three rings because it's essentially the same amount of time maybe a little more time to coat these but in terms of bake and cool down it's about the same so uh, as as planned I'm, I'm thinking an hour per piece and I don't want to jam multiple in the oven again back to the right versus right now theory uh, I'd rather do it right and go slower than to try and rush it uh, for a right now and have things not turn out as nice. But uh, I must say, a lot better than the uh, the demo piece. So this came out great. Uh, pretty happy with it. So more to come.